class is now in session. This is Weather You with Gabrielle Espinoza. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Weather You. This week we're going to talk about the different types of precipitation, namely the difference between snow, freezing rain, sleet, and rain. Meteorologists determine this using one of these. It's called a skew T diagram, and it's because the temperature lines are slightly skewed. So along the bottom here is those temperature lines. They're in the black number at the bottom. Unfortunately, they are measured in degrees Celsius because the scientific community does use degrees Celsius. Here along the y-axis we have the height in the atmosphere measured in millibars. That's going to be the black number and then the red number in a little bitty font right next to it measures the height in the atmosphere based in kilometers. That's the basic setup of the diagram. Now the lines on the diagram, the red and the green one, the red one measures temperature as you go up in the atmosphere and the green one measures the moisture of the air as you move up in the atmosphere. So to get precipitation to fall, the green and the red line have to be touching closer to the surface. Unfortunately, the day that I pulled this skew tee, we did not have any rain in our area, so the green and the red lines were not touching. But if they were, we would have precipitation falling, and we would determine what type was falling based upon the temperature of the atmosphere as that precipitation falls. So this temperature line way down there at the bottom is in between the 10 and the 20 degrees Celsius. Well, to get snow, we would have to have that at the zero degree mark because precipitation is frozen at zero degrees Celsius. Because our temperature line is way too warm for that, we, didn't, we weren't seeing any snow or freezing rain or sleet with this. We weren't even seeing any rain falling because the air was too dry. So let me give you guys a better example than this. We're going to make it a little bit more graphic and easier to understand. So as you go up in the atmosphere, everybody knows it gets colder. So where the clouds are during the winter, typically it's colder air less than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's all snow up there in the clouds. To determine what's going to fall, we have to look at the temperature profile from the clouds all the way down to the ground. So the two easiest ones are going to be snow and rain. Snow, it's going to start as snow and it's going to fall all the way to the ground as snow if the air is colder than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's what's happening here where the air is completely cool going to get snow at the surface. Now on the other end of the spectrum we've got rain. That means as soon as that snow falls from the cloud it's starting to defrost and melt and through all that warm air all the way to the surface it's going to stay hot and it's going to fall as rain. That means the air is greater than that 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It's warm and the precipitation melted so rain's falling. Now in the middle it's where it gets a little bit more complicated. So let's start with the sleet. That's the one in purple here. This snow falls from the cloud and through a small little sliver of the atmosphere where it's warm. It has just enough time to melt it a little bit, but then it enters the cold air again. As it enters that cold air, it has enough time to refreeze completely and make it to the ground as a sleet pellet. So only a little bitty sliver of warm air to melt it and then plenty enough time to refreeze completely before it makes it to the ground. On the other hand, freezing rain, that's going through a longer stretch of that warm air here, as indicated by this orange box over the freezing rain area. So as that snow falls from the cloud through the warm air, it melts. And right now it's rain. It's stuck in that warm air. It's not snow. But then as it gets closer to the surface, the air is cold at the surface, less than that 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So right as it reaches the surface, it has that chance to freeze. And that's how you get freezing rain. If you guys have any more questions on this topic, feel free to reach out to me on my Facebook page, Gabrielle Espinosa, KPLC. That's all I've got for you guys this time. Class is dismissed.